sacrificial anodes are crucial in preventing corrosion and should be checked annually. Today on my boat, we're going to review the different types and show you just how easy they are to install yourself. Made from active metals such as aluminum, magnesium, or zinc, sacrificial anodes provide cathodic protection for less active metals such as bronze, copper, and steel. Over time, as the anode is consumed, it loses its ability to protect the more expensive metals around it, such as propellers, shafts, outdrives, and tabs. A quick inspection on this outboard shows signs of wear on some anodes, but not others. Ideally, anodes should be replaced when they're about 50% worn or more. Wait too long, and your metal bits could end up looking like this. Now, the type of alloy is crucial for maximum cathodic protection. Most engines come with aluminum because it's the most versatile alloy. However, for freshwater only, magnesium offers far more protection than aluminum. So, we're going to switch these aluminum anodes over to magnesium. Zinc was so commonly used that sacrificial anodes in general are often referred to as zincs. But make no mistake, zinc anodes are only effective in a more corrosive saltwater environment. In freshwater, a protective oxide layer tends to build quickly on zinc and even aluminum, preventing cathodic protection. Fortunately, Martyr has you covered, producing high-quality anodes for all types of water. Zinc for salt, aluminum for salt and brackish water, and magnesium for fresh water. They are pressure die-cast to meet ISO 9001 quality standards and are manufactured with military-grade alloys for improved corrosion protection and longer life. Martyr anodes are available in single pieces or convenient kits that match your engine application. Simply phone your local dealer or take a look online and find out which kit applies to your engine. If your anodes still look new after a couple of years, chances are they're not doing their job effectively and you might be using the wrong alloy. And you can see here, these ones don't look very well worn. Now they're not very old, but if they look like this after three or four years, you probably want to switch the alloy out. And here you can just see the oxide layer starting to form on the aluminum. So it's a good thing we're going to change these out for magnesium. Magnesium can even help protect against stray current in fresh water a problem not uncommon in marinas that supply shore power. Magnesium is a very active metal, and mag anodes from Martyr will have a fresh water only sticker on them, reminding you not to use them in salt or brackish water, where they could disintegrate in just a few weeks. A few turns later, and that's it. That's all there really is to it. So we've done the engine, now we want to make sure we check the boat. There's always a couple of anodes on the boat. On a fiberglass boat, you will find anodes mostly on the metal parts, shafts, rudders, trim tabs, and drive parts. On a metal boat, you should find a few right on the hull. Obviously, anodes are much easier to install out of the water, but if you forgot or didn't get around to it, Martyr makes them fairly easy to install even in the water. Shaft anodes, for example, have interlocking halves with retaining washers that help prevent the anode from falling off during a wet install. You can even choose between Allen key or slotted heads. Because they are pressure die-cast, the inner radius is 100% circular for full shaft contact. These ones are streamlined to help minimize drag, but if you don't have a lot of room on the shaft, there are limited clearance versions that provide protection without taking up a lot of space. So if you haven't inspected your anodes in a while, it might be time to take a look. The cost of replacement anodes is a heck of a lot less than replacement parts for your drives and tabs.